Hello and welcome to another episode of the SourceFed Podcast. I am Matt Lieberman. Before we get started, just a reminder that our show is available on SoundCloud and iTunes. Now, a lot of people have been reaching out to us experiencing problems with their iTunes feed. The show is still there. Okay, the show is still there. There was some sort of issue with our RSS feed. You have to go back to the show page and resubscribe. I know, it's a pain in the ass. No one wants to have to do it. But if you want to listen to these episodes, have them in your car, have them at the gym, wherever podcasts are enjoyed, go to the page, once again, the SourceFed Podcast, and resubscribe to the podcast to get the new episodes. And if you want to get angry at anyone, get angry at iTunes. Yes. It's their, it's their deal. They yeah. Up. What the hell, Cupertino? I thought you were an advanced civilization, but apparently you still screw stuff up. All right, today on the show, uh, Maud Garrett is here. Hi, Maud. Yes, hey, uh, hey. Uh, Brie Esrig is here. Oh, bonjour. Yes, and Sam Basher is here. Hello. Sam Basher. Hello, Sam. Now, Sam, before we started the show, you revealed something to us that I found surprising. And maybe it's a dumb thing, but you let us know that not only do you not own a computer, mm -hmm. but that you haven't owned a computer since 2001? No, 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 no. You're close, close. The computer I owned a uh, four years ago was from two thousand one. Holy hell! So, so it, it was an eleven well. year, a ten year old computer. Yeah. I, when was the first time that any of you got a computer? Like, what was your first computer? Was it a family computer? Was it your computer? What oh, was it? DOS. MS DOS computer. This is before. Before even Windows three three point two or whatever. Before Windows, before Macintosh computers, mm -hmm. I believe there was a DOS, and Whoa. I used to, as like a five year old, you'd have to code your way through the system, mm -hmm. um, and I would be <laughs> coding my way into video games, like computer games. Yeah. And there was like a few games that we had on file, but you had to exe. Enter exactly. And then, like, C colon slash slash. Yep. You know, you solitaire dot exe. Oh yeah, because there were games that wouldn't run in Windows three point one or three point two. You'd have to go to MS DOS and then enter the whole code chain to access the game. My friend, uh, the, the elementary school we went to, donated to him because he was sick all the time with mm -hmm. asthma. One of the like very first Mac. Like little the desktop. Mac Classic. Oh, it was so cool when we like went on it. It was so slow enough thinking back on it, and it's like this big. Mm -hmm. It's really tiny. Yeah, I saw I someone with a now. Mac Classic too, like not even three days ago, who was just using it as a prop in a sketch, oh. and I'm like, that's got to be worth so much money. I wish you mm -hmm. said you saw it in a Starbucks. Like no. you brought it. Uh -huh. You brought it with <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah. That would be really really cool. I would love to do like that's like a dumb prank that's not going to get anyone like freaked out or pissed at you. But I would love to see people's reactions to someone. Pulling, uh, bringing a Mac Classic 2 to a Starbucks. I think that's such a fun idea. Remember when the Mac books had the different colors? You had the pink and the blue and the mm -hmm. green, and that was supposed to be really trendy back in the day. Yeah. And our school like invested in a bunch of those, and then they realized they were really shit computers. <laughs> yeah, we had the blue towers with the blue boxy monitors, and it had the it still had the zip drive, which is a big deal because it, you could fit a hundred megabytes of data on it. Mm -hmm. Whoa! I don't know Ev, what you're t speaking of at all. <laughs> the only thing I remember because I was so young when we had the family computer was like mm -hmm. playing like Madeline and oh Kid Picks. Oh Kid, do you Picks. remember Kid Picks? Kid Picks was dope. Whoa. I played Madeline. Wait, I did. I played Madeline. Did you? Yeah, I played Madeline. So yeah, fun. I played Teletubbies too. D did uh, you ever? play any of the jumpstart games which one were those jumpstart they was like it was like jumpstart first grade second grade third grade mathematics my sister had jumpstart first grade and i was in i guess sixth grade at the time and i still loved it uh, it's not a game but do you did you guys ever use mavis beacon mavis yeah. beacon yeah, yeah. Mavis mavis beacon. Typing. Yeah. Was up. did you have a uh, keyboard skin to cover your keyboard so you couldn't look at what the letters were that's what happened in my school you at had school, like this yeah. gross yep. rubbery thing that covers your keys and you had to like Touch type. type a sentence yeah. and it quick makes you type Fox, much slower the quick Brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah. There were a lot of great educational games. Spooky. Like, spooky the ghost. What was spooky was the ghost? It, it was like Mavis Beacon, but for like third graders. Spooky okay. the whatever, the typing ghost or whatever. Spooky the typing. Somebody yeah, will know in the comments. Yeah. yeah. It's Carmen San Diego, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's mm -hmm. Carmen San Diego? 1993. Oh, geography lesson. You just said harder. 1993. Yeah. That's my, I was born in that year. <laughs> so Sorry. you're my sister's age. 
Oh, but this doesn't get easier. Do you want to date my sister? You're Sam younger Asher? than my sister. I'm okay. Oh. I'm okay. I'm younger than your sister. You're you're younger than. My I sister. asked you. I asked you. Do you want to date my sister? And your answer was, uh, I'm okay. Did I'm okay. I want. Yeah. Do you want me to? Not necessarily, but I mean, you're a nice boy. Thank I feel you. like she needs. She should, should meet a nice boy. Are you protective of your sister? I am protective of my sister. I've got two older brothers. Two I'm, older brothers. Mm-hmm. Not. They've not once gone. Is the guy you're dating? Is he nice? Is he treating you well? No once. Well, what do they really ask shit. you? What do you guys talk about? Conversation with my brother. Hey, Dot, how you going? Uh, is, that, um, is that good? Is that bad? It's not exactly a word that you've said. Uh, okay. Sounds about right. Was it always <laughs> like that? Uh, yeah, I got fluent in grunting. Oh. Yes. I don't know. Some, the men in my family don't really communicate. They think in numbers. But my mum and I were... Are they all bankers or... Uh, su- surveyors and um, data analysis. Scissorizers. Yeah, data yeah. input. Uh, hmm. And then I, I'm a host and my mom's a psychologist, so it's like <laughs> down the middle. Wow. Yeah. yeah. My family is all very artistic and we have poor communication skills. So everything's like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, and then like <laughs> I, something snaps and everyone's screaming for like 10 minutes and then we all calm down and apologize. Mm-hmm. So. That's amazing. Good communication skills. I feel skills. like there's a lot of screaming and then a lot of tears, and, but it's like yeah. simultaneous. Yes. And I think that's yeah. the best part. Mm-hmm. I want to see you, Sam, play every member of your family in a nutty professor style movie because I think I it would just it. be so that entertaining. Would be really good. Yeah. Oh. I'd like to do that. I'm getting yeah. to a stage in my life where I will say things and sound exactly like my mother. Really? I'm turning into her so quickly. Oh, and it's like part of me is like, yeah, she's an awesome woman. This is great. The other half is like, not in my 30s. I've got to calm down. Mm-hmm. Not in oh, my... Man. I realize all the time that I say stuff that my dad says. Mm. Me and too. Th- me too. If, if, I hadn't, if I hadn't gone through therapy and like realized that I'm not my father and I'm not doomed to be my father, it would really, really freak me out. But now it's just kind of interesting like what you pick up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and my dad's sense of humor. Yeah. Dry sense of humor. He's what really is- funny. And like he gets along with people really well. It's just like I can tell like the jokes. Like What's the, the funniest di- thing you can remember your dad ever saying to you or doing? All I remember is that people thought he was really funny. Mm-hmm. I'm his son, so I didn't think it was very funny because you're the kid. But yeah. I remember everyone was like, your dad's so funny. And like he's saying dad jokes. <laughs> and as it being yeah. the son, it's not funny. But now I'm saying those same jokes and I catch myself and I'm like, <laughs> yep. Okay. For fine. those listening, he just he just you saw him die a little yeah. inside. Yeah. 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 I'm just like my dad. Really? My sister is just like my mom and I am just like my dad. Wait, so then what is your mom like and therefore your sister? My mom and my sister, they are very headstrong and they're just like they don't take shit from anybody. But and they're very dramatic and emotional. And my dad and I are both just like, all right, everybody calm the fuck down Mm -hmm. chill the fuck out i'm gonna ignore every sound that's happening my sister my mom they're like in the drama and my dad and i are like no drama please thank you go away Mm -hmm. everybody die thanks Hmm. my dad actually said that he was like everybody die thanks what that's cute yeah it was that is not it was really no it was cute everybody die please thanks (laughs) (laughs) loops cute no my dad actually has the best dad jokes ever really my favorite dad joke that he says and this is so stupid he says that he used to say this all the time. He would say, "I'd be like, Dad," and he'd be like, "You can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner." Ha 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 ha! <laughs> it's like the worst joke ever. <laughs> it's the worst. That is that is a pure dad joke. That's like that's heaven. That's like right off the tree. What the hell? Yeah, it'll no. be you soon, Brie. Hmm? That's gonna be you soon. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, it already is, yeah. and I'm and I'm okay with that. You're okay with being a dad. I love dad jokes. Yeah, so yeah, good. I'm such a dad. See, my dad never told dad jokes. He just would make fun of us incessantly. Aww. No, but like it, it, it got to a point where it was excessive. But like sometimes he was just damn funny. He was just really good at it, and he has an incredible memory for times that we've screwed up. Like that's like he is an impeccable like an elephant's memory. Like one time, one time my dad, my brother, and I all went golfing together, which uh, was a mistake. And uh, we were on the gr- we we had gotten to like where the hole was, and I I said before a putt, I said 
I'm either going to get this in or I'm going to miss it by a country mile. And I hit it. I hit the ball way too hard. It skipped over the hole and just went rolling down a hill. And they nearly fell over laughing. And my dad called me country mile, I think, for a solid year. At least he didn't abbreviate that. (laughs) CM? Mm. Well, oh, mm. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Silver lining on the situation. Thank you, Maud. <laughs> and now silver linings with Maud Garrett. Can I just say something really quickly? Isn't it so horrible and manipul? It's like a manipulation tactic to use on people. It's like you take something that they do that's really not that bad or that funny, and you make it ten times worse mm-hmm. than what it actually is. That's something that I've had exes do to me. Like what? Like like. You know, you you miss a shot in golf, Mm -hmm. and they are, like, doubled over laughing. And it's really, like, not even that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. And then they, like, bring it about it all the time. And they're like, remember that time you just, like, really fucked up? Yeah. And it was so (laughs) funny. You remember that time you were wearing... so horrible. You remember that time you were wearing a shirt that was a little too small for you, and I kept seeing your belly, and I called you crop top? Hey, crop top. Yeah. Yeah. Like, one time I, I wore... I was dating this guy, and I wore a dress for the first time. We had been together for, like... A month, mm-hmm. and he had seen my leg. Like I had never worn like any anything other than pants in front of him. I wore a dress, and I'm very pale. And he just like pointed at my legs, and he started laughing. And I was like, "That's strange. This is not <laughs> what. That's a bizarre he's like, reaction. He's like, no, you're just you're so pale." And I was like, like <laughs> "You're so fucking dumped." <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. I did he call you spooky, the typing ghost? <laughs> <laughs> he pointed at my legs, he laughed, and he said, spooky. ooh, I could type this out into a sentence. What is it, words per minute? Yeah. Yeah, words yeah. per you minute. You're going to punch out like 100 plus? Yeah. yeah. And now, the, for the second time, Silver Linings with Maud Gift. <laughs> mm-hmm. What did everyone's parents nickname them? Like, what was your little cutesy? Did, Sammy did it... the Lammy. Oh, I'm dying. Dying, girl. Sammy the Lammy. Your hands are so clammy, Uh, Sammy the Lammy. (laughs) Feel, feel my hands. Feel how damp they are. They are are damp. (laughs) They they didn't even do anything. They're just sitting out in the open. So you think you can damp. (laughs) (laughs) I can always count on you, Mon. Always. I love it. Oh, yeah. There was a toy lamb that my uh, brother had. And uh, still on the same uh, thing as Dan. It's a good Stop. one. Thank you. If anyone wants to draw anything up for that, I would be Sammy very happy. Would be really no, for no. So you think you can dance? I would oh, like yeah. to know what that show is. I would like to see it too. Well, it's just like it's a bunch of people who are just sweating profusely on a stage, and there's a British judge like, "No, too dry." <laughs> Next, <laughs> what was your nickname? Um, let's see. I didn't really have like I had a few nicknames. My grandmom would call me Mighty Matt, Mighty Matt, or Matty Matt. Aww. My brother and sister would call me Fat Matt. And they would like lots of riffs on Fat Matt and like Fat Matt the cat and Matt the cat who is fat. It's like lots of that with my brother and then my sister too. They're and really good at rhyming. So. My, it's true. My dad, we went to Miami Sea Aquarium um, when I guess I was like eight years old and there was, there was a show and it was called Salty the Sea Lion. <laughs> And my dad called me salty for maybe five years. Why? I think more than he could, definitely more than he called me son. But he like he called me salty all the time. Did your he dad call I'm... you son ever? I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't oh, think so. Son. Even uh-huh. my dad called me son. Did you? <laughs> I think we should name this episode Matt's Daddy Issues. No, <laughs> we're not. Na- that is not the name of the episode, Luis. If you're editing this. Mm-hmm. You probably are just, you chopped off the beginning and the end and you've already posted it. <laughs> My uh, parents, when I was when I was a wee little lass, they called me Boo Bear. When uh, I was a little baby. Uh, Sam the Lemon Boo Bear. Uh, Boo Bear. Oh, we're so cute and salty. Um, but then later on in life and still to this day, they don't call me Brie. They call me Brianna. Really? Oh, my Brianna. Oh. Yeah. You also said that. And on not a Brianna, definitely Brianna. Brianna. Which is like, it's Brianna. Brielle. Never Brianna, Brianna Banana? No. Hmm. Brianna. That would have been cute. Sometimes yeah. Beyonce. Oh. oh. But I ain't ready for that, Jelly, so. Mm-hmm. So my dad's very creative. <laughs> it was, I was sweetie. Um, oh. But my mom was also sweetie. And one time I was like, <clears throat> well, Dad. Even though I'm very young, I know that we should not have the same nickname. We are very different people in your life. And he was like, 
I don't know, sweetie one, sweetie two. It's like, that's what's happening. I was like, all right, I'm dealing with it. That sounds like the most Australian <laughs> reaction to yeah. your comment. Yeah. <clears throat> sweetie one, sweetie two. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but my mom calls me still to this day, Flossie. What? Why, Why does she call you <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. I just have always been Flossie and Flossie Blossie. I love oh, it. Oh, Flossy Blossy's Flo- cute. Yeah, she's like, hey, Flossy Blossy. Oh, and then it just became Floss. And she's like, hey, Floss. Hey, Flossy. Like, I don't know. I also That's had the cute. nickname of all my other siblings because my dad could never say anyone's <laughs> name the first time. <laughs> yes. And he would go through, like, my siblings' names. You're going to learn my siblings' names. They would go, like, Alex, Linz, Ben, uh, pets' names, Emma, Maggie, and then it would go to Sam. Dwight. Wait, your pets had human names? <laughs> yeah, my best. That's why I love pets with humans' names. That's the yeah. best. Yeah, and then he Pull would go to. Cat. Yeah, I like. Then he would go to Dwight, and then he would make it back to my name. So he'd go through all of those every time he talked to me. And it wasn't just me, it was with every single Yeah, kid. no, I had yeah. two older brothers, Jack and Darcy. Mm. And there was Jack and Jarcy. That's how it went. Jossie. And he's like, I'm dealing with it. That's, that's exactly <laughs> how my sister and I, my sister's name is Shannon. And for some reason, she. they always called me Shbriana. <laughs> <laughs> Shbriana, get over here. <laughs> what? Yeah. They start to say her name. <laughs> so I have looked up Flossie on UrbanDictionary.com. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> oh, dear. Flossie. Should we uh, start my mom and deliver this to her? <laughs> Flossy, adjective for extremely flashy or showy. Oh, yeah. Um, kind of attracts perfect. attention with looks or nice things similar to bling. Someone or something that is considered cool, stylish, hot, expensive, or attractive. There you go. Mama. Your mom what a thought you were attractive. Yeah. Um, another definition of flossy. Let me guess. It's like very, very thin <laughs> underwear. <laughs> no. Um, a state of severe inebriation for methamphetamine users. Oh. Characterized by <laughs> oral and visual hallucinations, psychosis, and temporary impairment of one's cognitive and motor functions usually follows an extended period of drug-induced fasting and sleep deprivation. Hmm. Well, we know it's that one for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm actually I'm a little even, curious which I'm one it could be. I'm not even sure this is reality right now or if I'm dreaming. Mm. Uh, so. Fifth definition, someone that is hot, sexy, or banging, someone that you would fuck just by their looks. See, it could be I that one. Think. So I've been flossy since I was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely think it's number five so. then. <laughs> number six, <laughs> there's so many. Mm-hmm. Number six, when a person or object is clean or Fresh have with a the pH. Guys, there we go. Have you guys okay. ever looked up your name? Yes. On, oh, on, on Urban Dictionary? Yeah. yeah. On Urban Dictionary. Like your full name? No, no, no. You, you, your full name might not come up. On some, as some might. On Urban Dictionary. What does your name mean in the name sense? I looked, and I think it's, I could be very wrong, but I, it's like the right or left hand of God. I think that's what Samuel is. Wow. Ooh, I could be wrong, but uh, Urban Samuel Dictionary. Uh, <laughs> did you look up I whose want you name? to read this definition. <laughs> of which one? Uh, this is the Urban Dictionary Dictionary top definition for Sam. Wow. Oh, wait, is it is it uh, an acronym? It is. You okay. know it. Should uh-huh. we read it then? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sam means the name of one person who is super at masturbation. Yep. Uh, yep. Used in a sentence. I bet you're not Sam like me. Uh, that doesn't make sense. We all get yeah. a little Sam sometimes. We do. <laughs> That's my favorite definition. Then but, it goes down to like nice ones. And hold on, like the like right hand of God? Wait, uh, hold on. We're going we're gonna to look up. Uh, holy shit. No, holy dick. <laughs> holy, <laughs> holy, holy, holy dick. Holy dick, dick. Holy dick hands. <laughs> holy <laughs> dick. Holy <laughs> dick. Yeah. Uh, oh Sam name Meaning. Bree, do you know yours for Brianna? I don't. We're really? gonna look. We're gonna look all of them up. We're gonna look all of them up. Well, so I know my name on Urban Dictionary is like <gasps> the sound a pig makes. Okay, Sam. Uh-huh. The name Sam is a Hebrew baby name. In Hebrew, the meaning of the name Sam is sun child. Or bright sun. Oh, that works. Yeah, especially with the bleached hair. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's sun kissed. Okay, we're gonna look up. I know uh, what mine is while you're looking for Brianna. What, what is it? Um, Maud is, has the exact same meaning as uh, Matilda's name, so I could have been Matilda or Tilly or anything else but Maud, Aww. but whatever. And it means battle maiden. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. dope. Like that. <laughs> battle maiden. That's mm-hmm. just dope, girl. But hold on. I'm, I'm like versed in war, but not in the bed. That's a um, bit of a shit. The bedroom is a war zone. 
Love is a battlefield. There you go. Yeah. We stand. Okay, battle maiden. I, I feel like I'm going to scare someone. This yeah. is a weird website that I'm on. <laughs> Analysis of the name Brianna by letter. Well, no, do you want to no, know how to spell it then? No, is it B-R-E-E-A-N-A? Yes, you yeah, knew. Of course I did. <gasps> um, this is re- <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read this. Okay. Brianna character analysis of meaning. Here are the characteristics of Brianna in detail. Wait, my life is about to have meaning? Yes. <gasps> the eyes, ears, teeth, or sinuses could be affected, or you could sim- experience loss of hair. Your desire for independence and freedom means that you seldom tolerate limitations. Mm. Your first name of Brianna makes you spontaneous and versatile, enjoying enjoying congenial association, appreciating the finer things in life, and loving to talk and debate. In an argument, you usually emerge the victor, but at a cost. Hmm. (laughs) You are strong-willed and self-sufficient, not depending on others for encouragement. Skin problems such as acne or eczema could also appear. That's true. It's a name. (laughs) What does that mean? (laughs) Physical weaknesses center in the head. I think Matt is just not even on a website. (laughs) He's just naming my attributes. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Although you are naturally happy and generous, you fail to hold friendships because you are too inclined to be dogmatic, argumentative, or sarcastic. Ooh. That's hard. You've never been sarcastic ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then nope. the next part of this of this web page is, can I name my baby Brianna? And then the answer is, yes, yes. you can name your baby Brianna. You are allowed. I want to know what well, names they I say no. Like, now I feel like shit about no, myself. No, 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 no. We're going to do the Again, origin your, of the name Bri. Your urban dictionary is the sound a pig makes. That's so, so much better. Uh, I've just found the Urban Dictionary for Maud. Now, the number one is Maud is a complimentary term used to describe one of great beauty and personality. A Maud tends to saunter through their environment and attract the attention of many punky males whilst encouraging their saliva t- uh, sal- sal- salivary gr- glands. That's hard. <laughs> making them salivate, making them hungry or uh, thirsty. Into overdrive, resulting in large wet patches on the male's shirt and a glazed expression. But continue to scroll down and you will see that Maud is a, an, a friendly elderly woman who befriends young people. People, like in Harold and Maud. <laughs> and then you also have um, the Irish say that Mauds are stalkers. Uh, it's a term for, to stalk. And the last one by Perry Brown, who uh, uploaded it in 2008, who obviously got scorned by Maud, said that Maud means having no friends whatsoever and no common sense. Wow. Uh, Perry Brown. I've got, I've got two Get urban d- urban dictionary <laughs> breeze. All right. Uh, the first one I'll read is just like it's gonna suck. Great, but then the second one is amazing. (laughs) All right, the first one is an intelligent and beautiful girl on the inside and out. Loves to have fun and has a good energy about her. Would never let you down no matter the circumstances. She will always have your back, aka the shiz. And that's from Sexy Bitch on uh, June twenty fifth, two thousand nine. God bless you. But number four (laughs) is amazing. Okay. A girl who makes you feel incredible inside. The one who gives you hope again. The one who makes you realize that life is worth it. A Brie is the one who gives you a second chance when you toss the first one out the window without completely comprehending what you had just done. Then in a sentence, guy one, man, I just feel like giving up. I feel like there is no point anymore. Why am I even standing here right now? What's stopping me? Guy two, you need to find your Brie, just like I did. This sounds like somebody who was that was written in, by my stalker. That was written by Anon 1700 Ooh, on March 1st, 2011. It's like glowing mojo by the sounds of it. Yeah. Number seven. Bree is an amazing and highly intelligent species of human. A nocturnal animal, Bree's <laughs> like to hunt in packs. While in the hunting party, their diet mainly consists of liquids. You were just on a juice <laughs> cleanse. I was just on a juice cleanse. <laughs> Once the hunting is complete, Bree's will hibernate until the next night unless they have pack matters to attend to. Their voracious appetite is only outdone by their beauty. Many other creates have been enthralled by their eyes, and once this happens, that creature is theirs. Here. We do. We actually, we feast on the juice of parsley and also <laughs> semen. Here, look up, look up. And blood. Matt or Lieberman, whatever, whatever you choose. Uh, I, I don't know why. I'm the only person in this <laughs> office. What is it? What? Oh, God, Ancient what is Greek it? Ancient Greek translation for eternal sex god. 
Hey. It is believed that anyone that holds this name has a great level of skill and ability to perform sexual acts for long periods of time. Guys, I'm just, I don't have that much energy. I'm lazy. I don't want the, this pressure. And it finishes off. Pun intended by saying men possessing this name are also well endowed. <laughs> Our urban dictionary where anyone can post. <laughs> it's yeah. Wait, but, I mean, was that's... it a was it a Matt that posted it? <laughs> yeah, right. It was an it was an Orin, actually. You know what sucks. You know what, Orin? I'm sorry that we're not friends anymore. <laughs> Come back, Orin. But I mean if I, if I as I scroll down, an attractive, smooth talking, charming young man, da 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 go oh, to the next one, an extremely good nice. looking male, otherwise known as a sexy beast, keep going. A Matt Sounds is good. the best boyfriend or guy friend ever with their big brown eyes and heart melting smile. It's, heart it's blah, not blah, me. Blah, it's next, not me. Next. I have green eyes. So oh, finally, f- at the fifth one, we've got some common sense. It's commonly used as a male name and can also be short for Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I was told. You sex god, you. Matthew. Uh, what? Number six, a guy who grabs his female best friend's ass because he knows he can get away with it. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hey? <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I was always told that Matthew Stan, it means, uh, hold on, number nine, someone who will break into your house, have consensual sex with your girlfriend, play some Xbox 360, and fuck up your day with a lightsaber because Matt does not give a fuck. He is an all-powerful Jedi master who makes shit levitate with his mind and can bring any girl to multiple orgasms just by ch- touching her cheek. Okay. Actually, it's, it's true. When I watch Star Wars, that, that Darth Matt... He yeah. steals oh. the show. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's great, at, he's great at that Xbox. No more. Je- Matt no, Master Matt. Yeah, that's Matt him. Matt Windu. Yeah. Yeah. What a legend, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. The history of names. The history of names. If you know your names, comment it. Let's share what everyone's yeah, name Yeah, what does your name mean? Yeah. Look it up on Urban Dictionary and let us know down in the comments. Urban Dictionary makes me sad sometimes because I try to submit words that you I do? made up for fun. And they all, like and they all get rejected. Like what? Oh. What words? All right. What amazing I'm gonna, contributions. I'm going to throw this at you. Blow this our minds. Is a co- this is a contribution to the universe. Okay, okay. I'm a catch up. Uh, this is about the worst word you can say to someone. Ooh. You can call somebody, okay? Don't ever call anybody mm-hmm. a duck muffin. It Ever. sounds so cute and tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make that. Fa- Why are you laughing? Excuse me. Oh, yeah, duck it's muffin. the worst. Why is that the worst? You are being a duck muffin. Right hey, 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 hey. Watch, watch it. it. <laughs> Wait, but what does it mean? It's just the worst thing you could call. It's like worse than the, you, than the we, cunt word. It's just a bad w- word. <laughs> do we need to have a worse word than the C word? Because I, I feel like that's being thrown around so much that there needs to be something that shocks you. I was more. trying to do duck mo- I was trying to make it a thing. It's like fetch. It's fat. too it's cute, It's never going to be a thing. Oh, it's Gretchen. too cute. Yeah. I'm just imagining like a Gretchen muffin Brainers. with like that's shaped with like a duck head. Or like yeah. a duck walking around carrying a tiny little muffin that's oh. appropriate for its size. That's really cute. Yeah. Well, we can make it, maybe we can make it a term of endearment. What Guys. about butt pussy? Yeah, that's about a, butt pussy? Butt pussy is a good word. Is it on But is that too sexualized and is it putting down the female sex organ? No. I kind of feel like Sith pussy would be better because if you really want to spurt it out there, it's a hard one to get your mouth around. No pun, definitely pun intended. Um, sure, and so sure, if you're sure. going to use it, you've got to be able to get it out. Yeah. Because you're a Sith pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like it's like a buffer. It's a filter. If you're too angry, you cannot say it. Try to say it five times fast. We tried. Sith pussy. Yeah. Sith pussy. 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 Sit pussy, sit so pussy. You're gonna sit. try it later on the car ride down to VidCon. Damn it's gonna be it. so I didn't mean hard. to be really, really gross and repugnant, but I did discover one of the best tongue twisters of all time what by is saying it? the Sith pussy. Sith, Sith pussy. pussy, it is good. She came up with it. My That's favorite good. part about butt pussy is when a guy says it because. Butt pussy? If a, when a, imagine a guy whispering, my butt pussy is so wet right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and just like that, uh, I am no longer a battle pussy maiden. Is rock hard. <laughs> My butt pussy. Butt pussy is so great because it's it describes so the female part. Okay, right we don't now. have a name. You guys have the taint. Yeah, we don't have. Do we do. We do. Wait, is it not called the taint? The female taint? No, we call it the butt pussy. What? No, because it's a it flap of skin you between the call two. It. Also, yeah, I never called pussy. it a taint. What never, did you call it? Oh, it's a mavis. There's a kid. I never thought about the name until right now, and the last time was like ten years ago, and my friend said it was a cooch. I've heard me that a cooch in my in Australia a cooch is a female bit. Female it is a bit. vagina. Yeah. yeah, but that part on a guy I've heard mevis before. Yes. <laughs> but I've also it's globally known as a notcher. Why? Because it's not your dick and it's not your balls, <laughs> or not I'll your balls, you not your butt, whatever. Notcher. It's That's a notcher. Really funny. It's a notcher. I like that, but 
No, butt just, pussy. Not just can I just it's really the in quickly? Between. It's the third. It's the third hole. It's I'll the, call it mine. Pussy. Not it's not a third. It's not a third. You ha- women have three holes. They got the pee hole, you, the butt pussy, and the butt hole. Have you ever met someone with two buttholes? <gasps> what? Have you? Have you? Yes. Have you? What? Seen you seen <laughs> yes. You've seen theirs. Yes. You've seen their two buttholes. Matt, sometimes your stories are just so phenomenal. Breathe. Tell. Okay. So uh, the what first. Ha- how did that? I have it's, the second, so many questions. The second one isn't hooked up to anything. Oh. It's, it's just there just, for looks? It's, yeah, it's just, it's like an accent wall. It's literally just <laughs> it's a like, like full It makes on, the room look a lot bigger? Yeah, it okay. just makes it, it's just a full on inch and a half deep divot just above his butthole. Wait, does he put pennies or mentos in there? No, he doesn't use it for jack squat. Why wouldn't he? Could he blow bubbles out of it? I've never seen him blow bubbles out of it. I only saw it Little just the ones. once. <laughs> Little <laughs> bubbles. There wasn't a sphincter or anything to blow the bubbles out he of. He would it's be just the like best a... ring bearer ever. <laughs> he would oh not lose it. Where's oh. the ring? In my ring. Not that one. The faux <laughs> ring. The clean one. Yeah. Oh so um, yeah. when I was a freshman in college, the first... Uh, shoot that I ever worked on production was this uh, this pilot this drama pilot that these students were making called Age Appropriate and uh, it was about a girl who was high school age but she was going to achieve emancipation by going to college I don't remember the plot super well but um, this guy uh, this guy who we'll call Dan was uh, was playing the love interest and there was a party scene and I fell asleep during the shooting of the party scene. That's I was really unprofessional. It's really, really, really unprofessional. Uh, and it is not the last time I fell asleep on a set. <laughs> but I fell asleep on the set of this party scene, and I wake up, and the entire cast and crew is looking at me, grinning. And I'm like, oh, hey, hey, guys, what happened? They're like, you, uh, the director's like, well, you, uh, you fell asleep. I'm like, oh man, I'm I'm really sorry about that. They're like, yeah, and everyone's just kind of looking at me expectantly, Ew. and then just like to my left, like like our eyes darting, and I'm like, what? And they're just kind of like giggling, and I turn to my left, and Dan has his pants down and his ass like right here, up against like right up against my face, and I I turn, and there they are, two. So wait, they're they're on top of each other. They're, Above each other, like a colon of colons. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It would have been funny if you wo- woke up and you like just saw two holes, kind of like oh, binoculars. Like, like eyes? Did yeah, you like ask? Eyes, yeah. Did I ask? Were you like, what is this? Oh, no, he was very, very proud of it. He had talked about it beforehand. Did you so ask? I'm I, hearing puns everywhere. I know, me too. And you're like, God, you're such an asshole. <laughs> have you ever accidentally I would call been him in an someone's asshole. ass before? Yeah. Have I ever accidentally <laughs> been in someone's ass? Any part of you? Yes. yes. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what was the question? Have you ever been accidentally in someone's... inside someone's ass? Yes, my sister. <laughs> oh yeah, you told that. We story. are digging a deep hole. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a yeah, good story. Wait, it is a good on story. On top of it. On top of it. It's a good quick story. I'll yeah. just, I'll just. Yeah, do it again. Wait. Okay, what? My sister. Once upon a time, when baby Bree was seven. Seven, and Shannon That's was five. <laughs> Shannon was five. I was seven. And she, my sister used to moon me all the time. She thought it was so funny. And one time I was peeing on the toilet. And she mm-hmm. comes in and she moons me. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. And I went to go smack her butt and give her a little spanking and go, you're so bad, Shannon. My finger went right up her butthole. <laughs> like, where, and like, she like, screamed like, bloody murder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we both were crying laughing yeah. uh, do you think that that moment took her eventually to a dark place no I think I think that mm. awakened both of us mm. look this isn't unheard of I know that my friend who definitely had a, opened her up <laughs> had, oh, a, had a beagle a dog and um, was just sitting in the way she was like get off and like tried to kick the dog <laughs> And her big toe went up the dog's butt. <laughs> oh, no. No. It's like, move on. Oh, sorry. The dog's uh, just like, the dog's like, uh, uh, all this butthole talk. Oh, my I got God. one more. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, you, you've, never, you've never inadvertently been inside of a butthole, Sam? I'm, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying. Has your, has your pee-pee ever slipped? During sex, Has it? it's never been like it's never been like, oops. It's, <laughs> it's like 
Oops. Ow. It's a poke. Ow. Yeah. And then like, ow, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. It <laughs> hasn't a... like slipped out and in. No, it's not like <laughs> Yeah. It would have to be a severely lubed up Sam dick for that to happen. Okay. Your yeah. story. <laughs> um have oh. you got do you guys know what an impossible sit up is? No. no. Okay. It's something <laughs> that is from the Ben Stiller movie Heavyweights. And uh, I love heavyweights. Yeah. So uh, I had never seen heavyweights when I was 16, and I was at like a summer college, pre college thing at UMass Amherst. And all the guys in the wing of my dorm decided to, had been playing the impossible sit up prank on people, which is um, you tell people, you say, hey, do you think you could do an impossible sit up? And they're like, uh, fucking, yeah, it's not impossible. I could do it. So they, you lie down on the floor, like in sit-up position, and they put a towel over your eyes, and uh, a guy puts his hands on either side of the towel, on either side of your head, to prevent you from being able to get up and do the sit-up. And you strain against, you're like, Urgh! no, I can do it, no, I can do it. And they're like, okay, we're going to give you one more try. And while you're blindfolded with this towel, a guy takes down his pants <laughs> and squats over your face so that when you go to do the sit-up, they lift their hands up and you fly up and you see, you're supposed to see this ass in your face and freak out. I was so determined to do the impossible sit-up that they're like, one, two, three, and they let go of the towel. I fly forward and my nose goes straight up this guy's ass. <laughs> and what I was, have never what been was more. His reaction? Uh, <laughs> did he jump up? He jumped. He jumped. And I was so angry. I was so, so angry. And like, I couldn't smell anything. For you, days. <laughs> you were brown nosed. You literally were brown nosed. You were brown nosed. Brown -nosed. And it was, it was just, it was so humiliating. A finger once accidentally went up, or went up my butt without my uh, permission. What? Not Sam. doing like sexy things or Who anything. got inside your secure files? Who there? hurt you? I had a, a pair of pants. Do you guys ever have like a pair of pants that you just really love to wear? Yes. Sure. Oh yeah, in high school I had this pair of pants and like it got a hole in the back because uh, someone dragged me around with me sitting down and then like- What? Know, I was sitting down and yeah. in jeans and he was pulling me and so on the carpet it made a hole. Anyways, uh, so, but a friend like thought it'd be so funny this time. <laughs> to like hide like to try to like get something in there without me noticing like a piece of paper and like oh. later when I like take down my pants I'm like what the, why are there skittles in here like <laughs> yeah and so once he tried to like put like the end of a pencil through and like uh I but I stepped back really fast and uh pencil dropped but his finger was still there so <laughs> wait just... but you were not wearing underwear no he got the underwear in too <laughs> oh he pushed God. undies into your butt pushed it inside that's What's cute. an appropriate mm -hmm. way to react to that? Uh, Smell your finger, hey man. of course. Ew. Hello. Oh, 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 what? Yeah. That's what it's called. The it's it's a not a disease, but it's a condition where you grow two penises. That's like, like a blessing. It's like a snake's forked a tongue, but it's two penises. Two peni. Two peni. But like this? It's a double edge. No, I, I mean they dick. could be like that, they could be like that, they could be like that. It's just like they're both growing from the same spot and I don't know if like they both are as sensitive as one penis or if they're each half Can as sensitive. And they both get hard at the same time. All I, of these questions and more know. have been answered on his Reddit a AMA. Oh, yeah. This guy, yeah. He's, he's, he's maintained his anonymity, but he posted photos of it. Of the mm. dicks. And then mm. did, and did an AMA, and he honestly answered everything. It's like, well, why didn't you go to the doctors? He goes, oh, I did, but they treated me like a freak. So my mother went, no, nope, I'm getting him out of here. That's enough. And so he never, he just, you know, it was all working fine. He had no health problems. He says he's got a boyfriend and a girlfriend. And he God says bless. that one yeah. kind of is a little bit more reliable than the second. Okay. It's fascinating. Wait, did he answer how he pees? Does it come out of both? Oh, I th he would have answered that for sure. He would have answered that. Let's pull that up. Let's pull it up. Hey, yeah. let's pull it up. I'm Wait, sure he's, he's, got guy, a, he's got a primary and a secondary. Is he the one with the big butthole too? Like the really open butt? 
No, they there's can't the guy be the with two dicks guy. in the big bow. <laughs> oh, you know that guy with you the two the dicks and the, the huge big asshole. You know the guy with the asshole. <laughs> Is it sometimes you like, you know, you can't choose how you're gonna look or what's up with you. Some things are just un- you can't control. There's no control. Here we go. But if a guy has two dicks and a really big butthole, like that's that's unlucky, isn't it? Surely. So the but the open butthole. That's but a the little two unlucky. Dicks, I mean, I know I can't imagine what that must be like. It must be hard. I can't even imagine one. Literally, <laughs> it must be really hard <laughs> to get to pleasure somebody in so many ways. Okay, if you were going down to fun, t- bah, if you're going down to fun town, and a guy was like, "All right, you're ready to do this," and he's like, "Wow, wow, wow," pulls in his pants, and it's like, "Hi," and there's two. How would you legitimately react? I would uh, say I got three holes, and you've only got two. So how are we gonna get the third one plugged up? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think I, I inadvertently put pornography on the camera, so I don't know if we were shooting at, on that side. Are we good? Did we get pornography on camera? Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Always an air miss. <laughs> What's the first question? Uh, the first question on his AMA uh, is, is it just me or does anyone else want to see this in action? Yes. Uh, let's see. I bet his post-sex pee looks like one of those lawn sprinklers with six to ten multi-directional <laughs> spouts. A lot of people are being r- real funny and mean. Yeah. This isn't the AMA. This people joke be... about things that they'll never understand. This is a, so. a yeah. gallery, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, it's just... All right. I'm just going to pivot this around. Does anyone want to swap spots with me? Uh... <laughs> Wait. One's uncircumcised or are they both uncircumcised? I think, I think they're both one, uncircumcised. I think they're That's both uncircumcised. No, that one's just that foreskin is just pushed back. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys know that we had like big white squares on the ceiling? Huh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Let's look anywhere, <laughs> anywhere else. Um, yeah, both penises are 100% functional. I was born. What I was born with. Uh, was diphthalia. I did not absorb a twin. It's not genetic or inherited. Uh, inherited. I am bisexual and in a committed relationship with a man and a woman, but I have permission to stray only with James Franco. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. I bet James Franco would have sex with Have them. you guys got a celebrity list? And is that like a thing? Like if you run into one of three people, Ooh. you get a whole pass in your relationship. That's a great question. We should talk about that. We should um, put this down for a minute the, the, and talk about that and bring that dick, back up. Double okay. dick scaring me. Okay. I won't That's show you the double question. dick again, Sam. I promise. Who's on your list? And well, do you have one? Jennifer Lawrence. When I was in a committed relationship and I was living with the guy, I was like, I don't even know who two or three is, but number one, like I got a weird obsession with Ryan Gosling after The Notebook. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it did something to me. I was like, I will never love unless it's Ryan Gosling. And I was like, oh, well, I'll have to get over that because I'll never see him. Oh, Cut to uh, Hermosa Beach in California in 20, 2008 when I was here on holidays and I was walking down the pier uh, with my boyfriend and his three friends and we were go- going to a restaurant and this guy rides past on a bike and he had a hoodie up and he stopped. We, we make eyes and I was like, oh, he's really attractive. And then he stops his bike. He, I remember it so, so vividly. Stops the bike. Boom, sits boom, down, looks directly boom, at me and pulls boom, his hoodie back. Boom, and I'm like, boom, boom, couldn't say anything. Boom. And my boyfriend at the time was like, huh, that's Ryan Gosling. And I was like, oh my God. And he goes, yeah, he's checking you out. And, it and was you're like, like, bye. In my head, a thousand things sprung. I was like, okay, so he's my number one. Can this happen? Do this happen? Is this actually going to happen? Maybe he's looking at me. Do I go over there? Like, but yeah. He's my boyfriend. No, he's my cousin. He's my cousin. I'm just traveling with my cousin. We both got blue. I still believe that. This is right. This is right. And that felt like it took so long that by then all my friends had kept walking and my boyfriend had walked off and I was like, I don't know where we're going. You were just standing there? Yeah. Uh, she literally <laughs> froze. And then I was just like. Oh, well, that was nice, and turned around and walked away. Jeez. So part of me was just like, just, I should have just turned back and went, good eye, mate. <laughs> Play the Aussie card. And he would have been, hey. hey. No, 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 he'd been like, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm waving at the person behind you. Hey, hey, sorry. Hey. And you turn around and it's Rachel McAdams. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm that makes it okay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't sleep for like three days what after that. What did your boyfriend say? Was he like, well? He was so nonchalant. He was just like. He would have let you, huh? I think Not s- let you, but he would have been okay with it. I mean, what are the chances? Having the celebrity on your whole pass. And then, of course, you know, I got a job in radio and it's like I interview celebrities all the time and it was just like, oh, now there's, I can't the have thing. a whole pass the anymore. The thing about because, because you actually have access. Yeah. You really have, the, when you're in our business, you really do have a chance with kind of anyone. You, like, you really don't know who you could run into and they might fuck you. Yeah, Sam, you have a chance with Jennifer Lawrence. Yes, yeah, she's dating Chris Martin from Coldplay, but you have a chance. 
this That's really hard to compete with. You're both blonde and white. It's essentially the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but <sighs> I, I've heard you sing a little bit. You like music. That's a plus. I think yeah, that's going Lawrence, for me. <laughs> that's a good one. How old is too old? Because what she's twenty four and he's thirty nine, thirty eight, something like that. Yeah. I don't think age is. N- what no, is Will, that's mean? not how it works. You can't. Hey, Will. What are you trying? Yeah, to? Sam. <laughs> 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 Go do people be like Aww. on SourceFed on Thursdays. Work. Check it out. Check it out. Who's on your list? Do you are you allowed to have a list? No, we. Uh, my girlfriend and I. I feel like that's just that's just a no go. That's just a no go. And I I don't think I don't know that I've ever dated anybody who would be cool with a list. I feel like everyone, just about everyone I've ever dated, has been very very you know monogamy and like yeah that's fun to talk about but. Eh. If I were to have a list, I agree with Sam. Jennifer Lawrence is on <laughs> on it. Uh, looks and personality, uh, like Maude is so against. No, it. only I'm, I'm getting uncomfortable because the amount of people that have commented on a video that I've done saying that I looked exactly like Jennifer Lawrence in the thumbnail, mm-hmm. and then a lot of people that know me said that her and I are like sisters, like we're very similar. I don't think so at all. Okay, good because this at makes all. this. Better and easier yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah, Mark, we have a crush really. on Jennifer Lawrence. If we had a crush on you, we would tell you. I mean, I'm not saying that you... Was I fishing? No. No. Okay, no. good. No, 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 no. you were good. No, I was like, no. Like, Whoa. But you definitely don't. I think you guys have very, very different So there's a gif of her where it, she goes, where's the pizza? And I was like, well, yeah, we're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Jennifer you just Lawrence both have a just, normal reaction to pizza. She's just so, so relatable. Mm-hmm. And That's I think it. I think we all see ourselves in her a little bit. Yeah. She's close to well, our Well, some like, see themselves in yeah. her more than others. Okay, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying it would be nice to get to know her. <laughs> uh, You've who, got half an hour, really? Are you going to just <laughs> chat with her and get to know her? Well, I mean, the I clock's think we could have an incredible conversation. I'm not that, that smooth. I think that if we, are, if we are destined to collide physically, then that would happen later down the road. Is that lame? Is that no. lame as fuck? No. I just, I just uh, try to, I just try to say anything that wasn't stupid. Hey, look, yeah. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> yeah, you were mistaken. Allison Brie and Anna Kendrick also on the list. Allison Brie. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nerd. I know you're a nerd now because of that reaction. What about Brie Larson? Brie Larson is also she's gorgeous. the shit. She is she the shit? She's such an incredible actress. Well, That's... she is short term twelve. <laughs> So good. So good. Oh, such a great film. Mm. So good. Oh such my a great God. F- Welcome back to Cineast Corner on the uh, SourceFed podcast. Oh, such Today, a great discussing film. the incredible film, uh, Short Term 12, starring actress Brie Larson. Now, uh, Brie Esrig, tell me of the most important cornerstone of this uh, remarkable performance. Um, uh, maybe the fact that it's such a simple story and it's so powerful. So pa- oh, so incredible. Pa- she's incredible. She was uh, in Scott Pilgrim. She was in Scott Pilgrim. She was the ex-girlfriend of Scott Pilgrim. Uh, the w- singing one. The singing one who sings Black Sheep by Metric, who's dating Blanking Brandon Routh. on the face, but I, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, on she's my list, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Winstead. Also, also this dreamy. Before I found out that she was gay, Ellen Page was on the list. Uh, now Ellen Page is on my list. There know what I'm saying? Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> her she's a badass. And her and, and Evan smart. Rachel Wood. Oh, yeah. Oh, Evan Rachel her. Wood. From they're, way back. They're both, like, mm-hmm. Evan Rachel Wood has always been, I've always had such a mad crush on her. Mm-hmm. And I feel like one day it's going to happen. Yeah. She's got Wood in the name. Yeah. Evan Rachel. I've got Evan Rachel Hood. Wood for her. Yeah. Hard Wood. Who would Hopefully she's used that now. line That wasn't good enough for Maude. Wasn't good enough for Maude. Well, I put it out. She did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and if I laughed at that, then that's kind of like me laughing at my own, which I do all the time. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know who's on the top of my list anymore. Also, Liam Neeson. Ooh. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Everyone why? is an OMC. Julianne Moore. Older man crush. Julianne Moore. She's also on my A list. A thousand times, yes. Um, a thousand times. She's lovely, by the way. She is she? Is oh, amazing. she's great. Oh, she's just. She was phenomenal, actually, to interview. R- Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. She is, yes. She's, I think she's yes. really a strong funny. choice. I like her she's voice. So funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's really funny. Mm-hmm. I think she's really pretty. I went yeah. through, a, I was starting to pine for Chris Pine for a bit there. Yeah. And he's nice. He was really great. He is nice. Yeah. yeah. I've heard opposite. No, I mean, because like, what do I know? I just read interviews. But like, just, yeah. I yeah. heard he was the nicest dude ever. Really? He's also gotten yeah. saucy with a couple of my friends. Did <laughs> you, uh, so, but now. So you're saying there's. 
there's no chance. <laughs> yeah, but after pining for Chris Pine, now you're pratting for Chris Pratt. Oh, I do want a Pratt's debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, That's I'd rather have Anna Ferris. I just made it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll take Anna Ferris over Chris Pratt. Yeah. What? Yeah, you can have it. I Good love deal. her. Distract. Go in. Hey. Yeah, I'll you love Chris Pratt. Would you Jack Jack? He's okay. He, I mean, no. he's he's attractive. No. He's funny. Mm-hmm. He's great. I would just rather have sex with his wife. My OMC is Jason Bateman. I did sniff his hair when I interviewed is him, he though. You old? So what? I don't think... I think I've blown it. Um, is he an old man crush? I well, feel I like... thought he was older than he was. How he old is he? 30? No, he's got to be like 40, 42, something like that. He well, falls into OMC category for me. He, okay, he played... He was in Teen Wolf 2, and that was like in the late 80s. There's so Google. That's <laughs> like he's, oh, wow. Yeah. He I like Jason in his Sudeikis. 50s. No. Jason, Jason Sudeikis. I think he is cool. a oh. very attractive man. He's got like a fratty charm. Uh, R- Rachel from Friends, Jennifer Aniston, uh-huh. and uh, Jason Sudeikis' wife. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Olivia uh, Munn. Oh, no, Olivia Wild. 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 Olivia Wild. Olivia Wild. Oh, wow. I yeah, her pretty lady. Her eyes. He's 46, Jason Bateman. Oh. Right. Yeah. And why did you smell his hair? I don't know why. I had a bit of a crush on him, and then did my, just you were just my like, radio <laughs> co-host was like, she really likes you. Thinks she, she thinks you're hot. You guys should hug. And he was just so like, Okay. okay. Well, because like, like, how okay. do you get greeted by? How do you handle that? Yeah. I, I got very shy, but then when we when we hugged, I just put my face straight into his neckline and just went. <sighs> Did he hear it? Yes. <laughs> Did he hear that? So you're saying there's a chance. Um, there's a chance he'll ne- like never want me in the same room as him again. But worth it. He smelled clean and thick. <laughs> I bet. I bet yeah. he showers. I bet that man yeah. takes a shower. Yeah, he's hygienic. Yeah. Hygienic? Hygienic. I like hygienic. Me and my different pronunciations on words. What was it's the other funny. one we found the other day? Mm-hmm. And I was the like, only one that said it a particular way. Oh, I can't I don't remember. Know. There's I so don't many. There's I don't so know many. what it was. And yeah. many. I don't know. I don't know. The, the point of... I don't. I don't think there's a point in having a list, though. Like a. I thought lists were just for fun. When you like said like you guys don't have a list. I, whenever I've had a list in a relationship, it's only for jokes. It's right. only yeah. for jokes. Like okay. if you yeah, hall I've pass only for jokes. is not a real. Not thing. A oh, real it thing. shouldn't that be. I mean, like it depends on the relationship. Everyone has. I don't know. In Hollywood, but... I'm never surprised by anything. Yeah. That's Ooh, true. a lot of married men seem to think that the wedding ring is not going to stop them from chatting to people it's really That's screwed true. up that but at true. the same time like i don't know i once went to a fourth of july party at the house of a friend of a friend who was like a tv writer he had written he wrote like on the first season of veronica mars <gasps> which was like the greatest show of all time. uh and he talked about like and i hope i'm not blowing up someone's spot here but like he he talked about he's in an open marriage and like his wife is free to go and date and he's free to go and date and I was like, huh, because it was the first time I'd ever met anyone who was just like, yeah, this is my situation. Uh, hey, if it works for them, go for it. Go for Let it. Let them do whatever it they want to do. It sounds like an amazing plan. Gotta say. Sounds it's, fun. Well, it's not it's, for jealous people, though. No. no. You, you have, have to, to be a very specific kind of person. And you got to be yeah. very secure. Mm-hmm. No yeah. insecurities. You got to yeah. be like, yeah, because I think I'm a little too insecure for that. Mm-hmm. Just I mean, being honest, like, because it just, it would be no, too be weird. No, be honest. Yeah. You have be to be weird. in a relationship. Well, I remember um, I broke up with a boyfriend that we'd been together for nearly two years, and I just thought he wanted to be with anyone and not just me. So I was like, go, let's have like summer off. Let's just rediscover who we are. And if you really do love me, then we'll be together. Three weeks later, he was with another girl. Three weeks later. And let me tell you, that hurt so bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the worst one was that he was being intimate with someone else. And I just, that broke me. Yeah. And so I think that if someone was like on the reg getting it from other people, I'd be so upset. It's yeah. like, what, what, what are they doing? I cannot. Yeah. But I, I feel like sex and intimacy are two completely different things. I There is absolutely no way I could have sex with somebody if I was not like, if I didn't have feelings for them. Hmm. Yeah, I, there's definitely <laughs> really God. no, 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 no. I agree no, with you. I, I agree have with you. Good sex. I agree. I good have... sex. Well, it depends on what the sex is. Have... Sex or making love. You couldn't make love to someone that you don't have a connection with. I'm just trying to think of. I don't know. I mean, that was fun, but I liked them. I don't know. I feel like there's sex of all types and yeah. all kinds of all I, shapes that's and all sizes. It, but I mean, the, why would you want to have someone sex with someone that you didn't like? You're Maybe an asshole. Because, Let's do it. Oh, hate <laughs> sex. There's a thing there. There's a yeah, thing it's not, it's there. Not, I mean, it's it's charged. There's like there's anger. A, there's, a, there's passion. Anger leads to fury. Uh, anger leads but to hate. But then they're being rewarded for bad behavior. Listen, Maude. I fear don't know. Fear leads Reward. to anger. 
anger leads, leads to, to hate. hate. Hate, hate leads, leads to, to an suffer. orgasm of a massive size. Okay, you've had an orgasm of lust and love, but have you had an orgasm filled with hate? I've had makeup sex a lot of times, thank you. But is that filled? Is that a hate have gasm or is that a relief gasm? With your enemy. That sounds complicated. Oh no, God no. That sounds very. There complicated. There is no way I want to Listen. pleasure someone that I hate. No, but you want them to pleasure you. That's the point. It's like fuck you, fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Where are we For going? the record, <laughs> how complicated is that? For the record, I never have had that, but the idea is a tickling one. Neither have I. It just sounds yeah. really, really cool. Right? It just sounds really, really cool. Yeah. It sounds impossible. Anyways, it happened to somebody out there. Listen, I don't know. Maybe you need to not respect yourself to a certain degree to make that happen. I had a friend who had hate sex, and he said it was the best sex he's ever had in his whole life. Aww. What happened immediately afterwards? Did she kick him out? Did he no. kick her out? I can only imagine, for those of you who watch Orange is the New Black, that it's like Caputo and whatever her name is relationship, which is... That sounds like made-up mm. words. Mm. Okay. <laughs> which is, they hate each other, but they have great, like, charged sex and then mm -hmm. afterwards they just insult each other and then they just go on their merry way. So that's a care does that happen? I like that. In real that's like friends with benefits. Like it's like enemies with benefits. Well I feel like that's like something like with, <laughs> that with is the friends ultimate with silver benefits. Lining. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not friends with benefits, but like to date someone or to like have just have sex with someone casually, it has to be someone who would never ever be a relationship option. Who you I've had ultimate that. Yeah? Yeah, and like it's I've, not someone that you've disliked I've at had all. A friends yeah, with benefits that. that started back in 2012 and we're still going this year. Different country. Hey -o. Damn girl. Yes. That's a good situation to be in. Mm. Yes, that was great. But I don't hate him. I really respect him. I think he's amazing. That's somebody where you're just like, I really like you as a person, but I don't like you as a boyfriend or anything else. Or just like I know that you're not mature enough to handle what th it could be. Yeah, there's like different sides to it, but no, I I, I can understand it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or someone who's like you're a commitment phobe. You'll never you never want to be in a relationship. So I I rationalize. I understand what this Split is. Flip both those things. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't. You didn't, it's not like oh we'll be only be friends with benefit because you're not mature or because oh, you don't we, want a relationship. We. I didn't want a relationship. Exactly. I wasn't mature enough to do mm -hmm. what he wanted to do. I was like, let's just have fun. And he was like, I mean, we could read poetry. I'm like, no, let's just have fun. Yeah. 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 So that was that. Was that. Um, oh, man. But a guy I, who wanted to read poetry with you, can you send him my way? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Queen. Yeah. No, he's lovely there. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, any, any last thoughts before we wrap up? I think that's a like a good a place as any. Yeah. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for someone? Ooh. Oh wow! Um, Quickly. Quickly. Uh, uh. <laughs> I give birthday BJ's. <laughs> Yay! That's very romantic. They, but you. they wake up to one. Oh. Yeah, so it's like they start their birthday in the best way possible. Yay! <laughs> really is sweet. that romantic or is that that's romantic. that sounds romantic to me? Yeah, okay. that's that's personal. That's love. <laughs> that's literally. Uh, I I did something that ultimately ended uh, one of my longest relationships. Um, my girlfriend at the time, uh, she her birthday was just four days before Valentine's Day, so I didn't want to do have to come up with two different things. And she had been on and won stuff from Ellen's Twelve Days of Giveaways on the Ellen Show during Christmas. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna do. Matt's 12 days of Valentine's, and I came up with like 12 different things, one every day, either to send to her office or to do with her at that night. That is so cute. Uh, to make her feel special. The problem was, she was like happy about it, but still was able to find fault with it. And like, I brought her breakfast in bed on her birthday, and she told me to take the bag of hot food and go put it on a plate and like dress it up. And it was just very. It was. I spent like hundreds of dollars, and I felt just like such a. I just felt like ungrateful. such a chump. That Aww. sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was not the way to end that oh, story. Matt, no, it's all good. What I'm about sorry. You, Sam? I uh, when uh, psh, uh, in high school, I dated a girl for two years, and uh, to ask her to prom, I took her to the Santa Monica Pier. I think I told this story before, and uh, we went on the Ferris wheel, and I had flowers in my backpack the whole time we were there. So I was like, "Please don't will, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die." Aww. And then we went on. It was during sunset because we had, like timed it out. Like I bought our tickets, Sweet. and she was like, "We have to go like now," and it was like noon. I'm like, "No, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. We gotta kill time. We gotta do anything." And then like it got to sunset, and we got on it and at the top because that's when it stopped 
Uh, I asked her to prom with, and I brought flowers, and she Sam. cried. And so that's fun. She cried. Mm-hmm. It was like a Sam. She was much lamby. better at giving. <laughs> she was much better at giving presents, though. But like that was the most romantic thing. Ooh. Yeah. That I think Can I a new drawing board design be Sam as Sammy? Sammy the Lamy, Lamy. and he's got it. lamb ears and a little coat. Someone's gonna do it. With a Someone's little bell around his neck. <laughs> a little bell with a little lightning oh. bolt on it. Oh my gosh, oh my if you end up with a woman called Mary, my life will be complete. That is amazing. Ma- oh. Mary had a little Sammy the Lammy. Yay. Don't hate it. There's a part in you that actually secretly Yeah, loves it's really it. cute. It is cute. <laughs> Very it is quickly, cute. most romantic thing you ever did for someone. One time I followed someone back on Twitter. Oh, that's so so cute. I know, so I know. Cute. So cute. That's big of you, though. Thank yeah. you. Gang, I want to thank you so much for watching or listening to this episode of the SourceFed Podcast. Again, if you want to listen to the show on iTunes, go and resubscribe to the stream. We apologize for any inconvenience. Seriously, not our fault. And we, we honestly don't know what happened. It's happened to a lot of podcasts out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so go and do uh, like and subscribe, rate and review on iTunes. We really appreciate it. Bree Esrig, Sam Basher, Maud Garrett, Matt Lieberman. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Whether or not reality show star Kylie Jenner's hairstyle is racist, and people always ask me if things are racist, and I just wanted to say, you're making me look bad. Now I forgot what four times seven was. What did you say? 28, 28. All right, so 288, and I bet 288 times two is...